Hey, what is going on guys? My name is DFree and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack unboxing. But for this one, we're doing something a little bit different. We are opening up the Saga of Blue Eyes White Dragon Structure Deck. Um, as you see, it cost me a pretty penny for this. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing so I can keep these coming for you guys. Well, let's go ahead and see what is inside of the packaging here. If you see what it says, I'm trying to show you guys the top. Crush your opponents with the most legendary normal monster. Feel the surge as you wield Blue Eyes White Dragon in a deck built around its awesomeness. Watch your foes cover as you take it to the next level and synchro summon Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. Only the strong at heart have what it takes to command this deck to victory. It also comes with, you know, the traditional stuff, the mat, the cards, and um, it says 37 commons, two ultras, two supers. One rule book, one deluxe mat, and one dueling guide with tips to help vanquish your foes. So this is what it looks like from a side view. Other side view with the uh, Azure Eyes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of the structure deck. Now, I'm a little bad at this. Hold on one sec. Uh, I'm real. You guys have seen my struggles, right? Like I'm not very good at unboxing. Like I, I'm trying to be like in a position where. When it comes to the unboxings, I don't just like rip stuff because I know people are kind of finicky about that type of thing. But I'm trying to, you know, because if it were me, I'd just rip the box apart. <laughs> if this was like off camera and stuff. So I did also get a mat. I'm, I'm going to get a Yugi mat soon. But okay, that's our box. We'll sit that over there. Okay. So this is how it looks. We get our deck, which we'll look at just in a moment. If you can win versus when you can. If you can versus when you can. Oh, I get it. And then it shows the deck list. It does have how to play with this deck. The, the general structure uh, decks do have something like this as far as like what your goal is with the deck that they've constructed for you. Um, Let's check out the backside. Power up with packs. They talk about the packs that you'd want to get to further the deck and some of the, the other additional cards you'd want to implement in the deck. So, of course, they're not going to give you everything in one deck, but they'll show you how to get some more stuff. Let me adjust the camera angle just a little bit here so I can get a little bit more in there for you guys. This is the mat. We're actually going to sit this down really quick, actually. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and sit it down. We'll move the box out of the way and the little pamphlet and the deck for a moment, just a moment. That's the mat there. I'll show you guys that. It has the blue eyes on the side. Monster zone, field zone, extra deck. It's kind of a little big to show you here. But yeah, there's that. And now they also have the official rule book pamphlet thingy majigger. But Bob, as far as like, you know, you guys know how to play the game. If you don't know how to play the game, go get a deck and it'll have this in there for you. So now to the crux of the video, the main purpose, you know, I'm at a point where like, I want to keep doing these mainly because I want the cards, man. I'm, I'm trying to get back into the meta. I know that the meta now is blue eyes, which is why I picked this up. This in conjunction with some of the other blue eyes stuff I've gotten recently should help me out as far as getting back into the game. Um, so yeah, but we have blue eyes, blue eyes, wait to dragon. Shiny ultra rare. That's pretty nice. That, that's actually really good art there. And then as always, we do have Azure Eyes. Or I'm actually gonna move the mat. It's kind of just the, the crinkling of it, how folded it is. So for the deck, we're gonna start off with the beautiful blue eyes white dragon. Look at that amazing art. That that art, the holographic on the ultra, that that is really freaking beautiful. I'm just I'm just gonna say that right now. So we're gonna set blue eyes over there. And we have Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. Look at the holographic on there for the ultra. Awesome card. And we have Maiden with Blue Eyes. Super rare. Yeah. And now we have Dragon's Shrine. Or Dragon Shrine, excuse me. Send one Dragon Monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then if that monster in your graveyard is a Dragon type normal monster, you can send one more Dragon type normal monster from your deck to the graveyard. And you can only... Man, a lot of Blue Eyes support. Blue Eyes has rapidly become really, really good. Uh, Rabbit Dragon, Alexandrite Dragon, Luster Dragon, all these normal monsters, right? Flamvel Guard, a normal tuner dragon with one star and 2,000 defense. That's I've never seen this card before. He's pretty solid, actually. 
this defensive unit. Dark Storm Dragon, pretty cool card. Gemini cards are always fun. All right, Rider of the Storm wins. We're looking at Kaiser Glider. I remember this guy from way back in the day. It's cool for me, man, because like some of these guys are like pretty nostalgic for me, having like not played in so long. So it is what it is. Heretic Dragon of Ten Tefnuit. Forgive me if I'm mispronounced, because I mean, come on, like look at that, like it. It, you know, like <laughs> some of these names, bro. Mirage Dragon is cool. I remember this guy too. Some of these guards are really old. Divine Dragon, Apocalyph. The White Stone of Legend. I need more of these guys. And of course, the Kaiba Man. Can't get rid of Kaiba Man. Used to have the Secret Rare Kaiba Man. Herald of Creation. Once per turn, you can discard one card, then target one level seven or higher monster in your graveyard and add that target to your hand. Very useful. Kaiser Seahorse. This card can be used to tribute summon. Uh, it can be used as two tributes for a tribute summon of a light monster. So of course, just having Kaiser Seahorse allows you to basically play blue eyes. That's awesome. Honest. Honest was always such an amazing card when he came out. To see that he's common now, it's pretty funny. Remember, he used to be Secret Rare or Ultra Rare? I believe Secret Rare. Way back in the Light Swarms first came out and their meta was nice with Judgment Dragon and stuff. That's that's the era I'm from. When Teledad, Dark Arm Dragon, you know, all that stuff was around. Pot of Greed was legal. It may still be, but, you know. Shining Angel. Another Shining Angel. We're looking at Silver's Cry. Target one Dragon Monster, Dragon type normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. You can only activate one Silver's Cry per turn. Very good. So if you have blue eyes in your, in your graveyard, you can basically play them. One Dragon type normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Just flat out. Yeah, that's... that's, that's Okay. <laughs> Burst Dream of Destruction. This guy for Blue Eyes cards. Stamping Destruction. A Wing Beat of Dry and Dragon. You won't really run these guys. Trade In is very valuable with Blue Eyes. Gives you drawing power. You know, running a few of these with all these Blue Eyes and Blue Eyes alternatives can get pretty clutch. Card of Consonants, same thing. All that drawing power, just having the ability to draw into what you want. White Elephant's Gift. Send one face up, non effect monster. You control to the graveyard and another drawing card. I have never seen that one. One for one. Send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one level one monster from your hand or deck. A lot of discard, draw, and special summon. Monster Reborn. Dragonic Tactics. Soul Exchange. Swords of Revealing Light. Enemy Controller. Castle of Dragon Souls. Fiendish Chain. Damage Condenser. Very cool card. Kunai with Chain, Call of the Haunted, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and Champion's Vigilance. So, all in all, you know, this deck's actually really well put together. Let's go ahead and look at their how to play this, this deck guide in there. So, I'm going to grab my holographics. Somebody said I should start, you know, sealing, um, what's it called, putting them in sleeves as soon as I get them. You know, I'm still working on my layout as far as these videos go, so in the future I will. Sorry if I don't handle my cards with the best of care. I'll work on that. The strategy is all about summoning the highest attack normal monster in all of dueling. The mighty blue eyes white hole dragon. Uh, normally you'd have to tribute summon two monsters to summon blue eyes, but with the cards in this deck, you can special summon it from your hand, deck, or graveyard, or even if it's banished. Summon your blue eyes white dragon with a level one tuner, made him with eyes of blue. Then you can synchro summon. Synchro Summon, Azure Eyes, Silver Dragon. Special Summon Blue Eyes from your hand, deck, or graveyard with the Maiden, Silver's Cry, or Castle of Dragon Souls. Send Blue Eyes to the graveyard, then revive it with Dragon Shrine and Monster Reborn into Blue Eyes. Special Summoning into Blue Eyes, and equip the Blue Eyes with the Rider of the Storm Winds, so it can pierce through your opponent's defense. Or you can Synchro Summon into Azure Eyes with the summon of the blue eyes with the maiden, uh, blue eyes with maiden and synchro summon in the top right there. So, like I said, all in all, very well put together deck. It's a uh, that's probably why it costs a, a significant amount more than most of the decks did because you know they generally go between ten and fifteen dollars in that area. Forgive me, I've had some technical difficulties in this video as far as like the recording goes. It keeps breaking because. You know, my camera is low on disk space, so I'm going to have to sort that out before the next one. But all in all, like I said, it, it was a fun fun, uh, fun deck to have. So in the next unboxing, what we'll be doing is we're going to unbox. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to show you. I'll just let you guys see it. So if you enjoyed 
punch that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and stay in for a surprise on the next unboxing that we have here. So, catch you guys later. Peace.